Hello, thanks for your interest in 2Label from Scout. In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to use 2Label and how to install it into your Salesforce package. Start by going to the App Exchange if you haven't already, and search for 2Label. Once you get to 2Label, go ahead and click on the link and click the Get It Now button in order to install it, a free 20 day trial. Also from the 2Label page, if you click on Details and then scroll down and go to 2Label Setup Examples, there will be some examples in here of how to make mailing labels, product labels, or business card templates. The main use of 2Label is to make labels for mailing. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions or follow along with this video. To get started, click on your Name tab, go to Setup, go to Develop underneath App Setup, and go to Pages. Once within Pages, what we'll want to do is create a new Visual Force page. Copy the Visual Force page from the Visual Force page code that you see in the mailing label example. Paste that in, but remove the carrots that are grayed out. So you just have the code within your Salesforce. As the instructions instruct, call this first tab mailing label. You might also see a problem if you try and save this with the version that you're on. If you're on version 27, you might see a problem and you might want to switch to version 26. Go ahead and save that. And now our mailing label Visual Force page is created. The next step is to go to Customize underneath App Setup. Go to Contacts and go to Buttons and Links. Once inside Buttons and Links, we're going to want to click on the New tab to create a new button and link. We're going to call this Make Mailing Labels. The view type that we're going to use is a List button. Once we've selected List button, we want to go to the Content Source and select Visual Force page. Once Visual Force page is selected, we'll see all of the different Visual Force pages that we've created, and we're going to want to select the one that we just created in order to attach that to this Visual Force page. We're also going to get a message that pops up that lets us know that the List button will not be displayed until it's added to the Search Layout. That's what we'll do next. So go ahead and click on Search Layouts, click Edit by the Contact List View, and then you'll want to arrow your button over into Selected Buttons. So now I have a Make Mailing Labels button inside of my selected buttons and I'll be able to use this. Once we've finished setting up, we'll want to go to our contacts. We'll want to go to a view within contacts so you can select from some of your different views. And once we're on this page, we can select some or all of our contacts and click our Make Mailing Labels button. This will then create a visual force page for us with all the different people that we have in the system that we selected. All we need to do now is hit the print button and insert into our printer tray an Avery 5160 label spreadsheet. Now that you've done that, you're all set and printing labels. If you have any more questions, feel free to visit us at www.scoutsft.com or give us a call at 651-964-3259. Thank you for looking at 2Label for Scout.